please excuse uh, any wind noise it's a little bit gusty out here but still trying to get stuff done and this is not the only pile I need to take care of as a matter of fact there's a stack over here and there's more over here and some of it is going to go into the dumpster and some of it is going to go on this carefully controlled fire in this breeze. As I was saying last week, I've got an ambition and I'm open to the possibility that some might think that my goals are a little too small, but uh, I, if I can potentially uh, build my work to the point that it can be a job for me, a real job, uh, I'm going to feel very blessed and grateful. And one of the other goals that it will probably sound small, but it would be a big thing for me is that I'd kind of love it if I got to a, a point and I got to a place where basically if I wanted to I could pretty much smell a wood fire every day for the rest of my life <laughs> and there was a time when I had that option and I haven't had it for a long time and uh, I really enjoy it when I get to do this uh, as I say, though, I'm out next to an open field that's full of a bunch of dry scrub, so got to be very careful, very careful with this. And I got to be careful as I try to get these pallet scraps uh, taken care of. It has been good to finally get to the point where, all right, I don't have to try to save every single piece of pallet wood. I need to get what works for me and what I think I can use and what I think I can shape into something useful and not worry about the rest. Uh, speaking of which, if you've watched any of my videos, you probably already know that I am a huge fan of these Euro pallets. And I'm so glad that I got these in all, really pretty good shape. But I also love to get these unscalloped, like this little cut out here. I love to get these stringers that uh, are solid, straight wood. And that is some heavy duty, I think, oak. And yes, they are full of nails, but uh, that's going to be a fun little experiment to see if I can get the nails out of at least these three and then see what maybe I can make of, the, of these others, uh, especially these pine. There's got to be something I can do, and I'm still looking forward to anybody that's got some ideas. What could I do with these stringers that have the cutouts for the uh, forklift? that you know something i could make as a a piece of furniture or as an accessory of some kind or a decoration of some kind i'm i'm very interested in any ideas i've been looking at some stuff on videos but i i don't have anything yet like oh yeah i'm gonna make 20 of those uh what are your i your thoughts uh in the process today i am probably going to salvage uh, a little bit more of this uh partial palette uh, uh, pieces uh, to try and get some all the usable wood that I can and maybe find out later that well I saved it but it's a little too cracked it's a little too wavy whatever it's not going to be useful that's all fine if that's the way it works out uh, for free on the side here I'm really trying to step the things up because I've got to get the move started and going to start to be packing some stuff, but I'm also starting to see about uh, a little piece of property that I have that maybe that didn't work out as a little a tiny house site, but maybe I could sell it and maybe that could help me do maybe the next thing. And there's some other things like that. Anybody that is a, a person that uh, trusts the Lord in prayer, I would appreciate any prayers along the lines of... Uh, guidance and direction and making the best smartest possible choices with the resources that I have and so the rest of the video is pretty much I think going to be some time lapse of me uh, burning some stuff off and carting some stuff off uh, to a dumpster let's see and that's got that's exciting right well maybe watching the fire for a little bit will be kind of zen uh, let's see how it goes
don't think I did a great job of getting the before picture, but here's some of the after. The clutter area is cleaned up some. The dumpster stack is not completely gone because I've still got a lot to burn off, but quite a bit of it was taken to the dumpster. So I'm gonna let this fire burn down for tonight. Enjoy it a little bit, finish listening to some football, and start thinking about the next phase of clearing this area. It's a little bit ridiculous, well, it's a lot a bit ridiculous, but got to keep going because got to get it moved. Thanks for watching. I'm blessed and grateful.